Bada boom, bada bing, bada doo ba da da. What? Why did I just start the video? All right, 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 all right. Yo, so I was scrolling through like the social media app called Twitter. You might have heard it before, and I seen this thing that says, "Boom, build your ultimate starting five using fifteen dollars." What makes this pretty cool is that this is in the theme. Hold on, my, my LAN cable bugging out again. Here we go. Certain features require a connection to PlayStation. Well, this doesn't. This is offline Miley. This is in theme of a uh, under twenty five years old. There was a new article release. The top twenty five players under twenty five and i guess this is the the crop of players that is in that list i didn't look at the list but uh all i gotta say is um espn have you have you ever seen this this guy this guy right here have you, he averages like 20 points on a playoff team he's 20. oh no land cable said nah stop talking about rj barrett get back to the video all right yeah i feel like i actually haven't done one of these in a minute and i was actually kind of excited for those reasons because of the fact that i'm gonna build these five teams and yes i'm making five individual teams well i already did make them and then they're gonna like strive and prosper for a couple of years and we're gonna see the players actually develop as well as like be together you know what i mean all right cool um, i'm just gonna get into like reading off the stuff you could see this big three i built with my first team now the thing is i built the first team the second team the third team the fourth it wasn't like trying to like even them out it was just making the best teams possible this one is kind of geared for right now and the future and just well yeah yeah that's basically a good way to put it um you see i got luca and zion both for five dollars the two best players that i know of on this list in 2k actually there's another two that i put together as well that are pretty elite then you get lamello who's 19 years old and 85 overall so he's instantly gonna go up to like a 90 something within like a year or two that was for two dollars so that's twelve dollars and then michael porter jr another two dollar guy and give me miles turner at the center to hold it down dpoy candidate he's always leading the league in blocks and all that and uh these these teams will be ran in a five-man lineup fashion i turned off fouling out and all that so you know i mean no fatigue none of that and uh yeah they're all playing the full 48 in case you know the fatigue didn't give that away next team i built is over here in boston and well i kept the two guys here the two core guys actually intact uh jason tatum and jalen brown I just decided it seemed like about right and then uh guess what i added on De'Aaron fox because uh kemba walker's been kind of struggling this season he was first injured and now just kind of awful i see celtics fans mad that he's always awful and still smiles so bring De'Aaron over here to uh fill that for um three dollars so that's a total right now of uh twelve dollars or whatever and then uh hey give me jared allen who's a cool little two dollar center hold down the paint another one of boston's issues is they always tend to you know i mean kind of just flop around with centers like what they have traded away Tice. They've had Robert Williams now playing kind of good. They used to have Ennis Cantor. They have Tristan Thompson somewhere on this roster too. It's it's not really too pretty. The center spot over here. And then a uh, last player, Mikael Bridges for $1. Give me this guy. He, he's very good at defense and three-point shooting. Also known as a three and D player. You ever heard of that phrase before? Yeah, probably not. Next up, I built this uh, Atlanta Hawks team. Yes, I can speak English. Now this actually might be the best team. A power forward is Ben Simmons for $4. Obviously, I, I started with Atlanta because that, you know, point guard Trey Young. I knew I was going to take him for four dollars as well. Now those two guys right there tend to win a lot of stuff in 2K, like MVPs and all that. Then you bring Shea, who likes to score the basketball. He's six foot six. I'm going to be playing him at small forward. Bam Adebayo to hold down the defense at the center spot, along with you know Ben to also hold it down as well at power forward. Two uh you know really good defensive guys. And uh, speaking of defense, Lonzo Ball at the shooting guard, six foot six. I knew that I needed to. Uh, I kind of wanted to you know I started with Atlanta, so I wanted to build this team around Trey. And while I gave him a bunch of defense, another great score and Shea and Ben tends to get some buckets as well in 2k and I think they'll be just fine Lonzo's obviously not gonna be scoring nothing but Bam and Ben they'll, they'll figure it out and then Trey can just chuck up all the shots he wants we're just comparing these two uh I already recorded a video right before this you can be seen after this so I already mentioned this but they were just comparing Trey Young and Lonzo saying which one you rather have in your franchise probably Trey still but uh they're both here now so that's good these next two teams are slightly washes yet still good now Devin Booker I'd probably place him like in comparison to at least yeah he's not like Zion or Luka level in terms of like you know what i mean at least in 2k real life he's kind of close i guess you know incredible score but he's five dollars more importantly though i just spent four dollars on 85 overall john ja moran and i gave a cool three for some bonus kept deandre Aiden in phoenix for two dollars and then for one dollar uh give me the potential rookie of the year now i guess anthony edwards oh edwards has a 90 shot tendency oh uh, actually this might get kind of interesting honestly there's gonna be a lot of shots take this is all offense no defense team and lastly this one's kind of awkward and definitely the worst one because um, well, A, it's all the players that I, I didn't want to build around, or at least for the price that they're given at. And B, um, I even wanted, I even picked like, so originally I picked these five teams for the fact that like, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll build around Shea. I'll build around D book. I'll build around Luca. I'll build around Trey and I'll build around Jason. And then I took, I took Shea from this team. So sorry about that. But Hey, you can have Donovan Mitchell for $5, which for an 88 overall is really awful value. Then again, though, you do have the duo of the bubble gods with Jamal Murray at the point guard right next to him. You know, Jamal was a bubble God and Donovan kind of put up like the third most point 
points in playoff history. I had to move Ingram to a small or power forward, so he went down to an 83. I actually make him a slash small forward too. I always say slash sounds so like uh sounds like improper English, like slash small, like it, oh I'm gonna make his secondary position small forward. That's too many words. Now this is where it gets really awful. John Collins is gonna be center. And Tyler Hero is playing small forward. Yeah, no, this team is not this team is gonna be bad. Yeah, like I said though, they're all, you know what I mean, playing a lot of minutes. And that last team obviously just fell into place because you know what I mean. Let me know in the comments A, what team you would use, and B clown me if I messed up the math on any of them. But I think I did just fine. But definitely know, uh, let me know. Uh, compare it to uh, the team that I built first. This Luca, Zion, Lamelo, Michael Porter Jr., Miles Turner team. I just feel like this team's gonna work well together. And then like I couldn't really pass up on having Lamelo. Lamelo is kind of an awkward fit here, but nonetheless, just compare it to this team and build your own team. Tell me who what the hell you would do if you don't pick Luca or Zion. I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't know. I feel like you know what I mean. You gotta have one of those two. And I guess there's something wrong with all of us though. So here the hell goes nothing. Taco Fall Center of the Boston Celtics cannot remain called up. And uh, Ao, shout out to the people existing within the universe right now. That's my shout out of the day for uh, people. Look at Atlanta number one in the con. I didn't even evenly do the conferences or nothing. I just put them on teams. We'll see what happens. Oh my God, this simulation is taking incredibly long, but uh, I'm used to it. Ayo, click the buttons under the video if you feel like supporting my YouTube career virtually or whatever, because that's kind of how this works these days. And everything's kind of virtual. You know, what I mean, people even buy Bitcoin, and that's like a that's like a fake thing, I guess. Or something. It's a real like fake thing. And it's me. I'm people. I, I bought Bitcoin too. And like, I think uh, they, they just like, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Don't take my advice. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. It's kind of the beauty of it though. You don't need to know what the hell you're doing. You could still be successful. Hey, hey it's the all-star teams. Jalen Brown here, Zion here. I was just looking at the one-time all-stars. The rest of them are probably just usable suspects. Hi, DeMontis Sabonis. I hope they're they're just league leaders. Yep, I knew Trey Young was going to be up here for sure. Like I said, Trey Young, Donchers and Tatum all the way up here averaging, well, actually Donchers and Tate are Trey more specifically, almost averaging 40, both of them. And obviously I left the rest of the league completely normal but like i think the sixers kind of got screwed over they i gave them like what yeah deandre hunter for ben simmons but wanted to see how these teams will just stack up against the rest of the league as it is like look this thunder team awful suns team awful the mavericks team third in the conference hawks team first in the conference at 38 and 14 and the celtics are second in the conference so that's pretty cool uh yeah what did i say about trey young he's the mvp Lamelo rookie of the year with a lot of minutes in dallas 48 to be exact ben simmons dpoi there you go 22 13 and uh, 10 for him. Almost 10. I can't really just give him the triple double. 64 and 18 though for the Lakers. They're still the best team in the league, I guess. LeBron is LeBron. See, this is what I'm talking about. We still got to play LeBron. You know what I mean? So we'll see if these teams can actually stack up against those type of guys. As Trey and Ben are on the first team and so is Luca. Tatum and De'Aaron up here on the second team. De'Aaron averaged 30 and 11 just about. Montez Sabonis 19 and 17 to make it on the second team as well. And Embiid averaged 30 and 15 without Simmons. And then uh, the final team. Zion's up here with 30 and 12 a game and Bam's up here with 20 one and 15 so a lot of hawks on the all defensive second team look a big dog right here what i say was an average like nine or something i don't know you average 14 and six celtics are fifth in the con or fourth in the conference at 50 wins i meant to say hawks 59 and 23 mavericks 48 and 34 suns 36 and 46 and thunder 35 and 47 years so the mavericks seem like i expected them to be the best in maybe like a year the hawks look at them 59 and 23 number one in the conference the second and third team i kind of built equally kind of if anything i even said that they had the two guys that were like super elite 2k guys and uh trey and simmons anyway i kind of expected this one although i wouldn't have been like confused if they were bad either but whatever let's just continue season stats the leaders trey luca tatum levine and Embiid in points rebounds is allen with 17 a game that's a bonus with 17 aiden with 17 and beat with 15 and bam with 15 this was Doncic, morant trey young lebron and De'Aaron. allen and turner led in blocks with all their minutes uh field goal percentage was mitchell robinson who got traded to the lakers okay and buddy healed in three more he got traded to the trailblazers so here's the season stats for the hawks the mavericks we got almost 20 a game from mpj and then uh, the suns look at edwards like i said 24 a game from anthony edwards this small forward slash power forward at 6 5 13th in the conference thunder 12th in the conference suns and then uh celtics tatum leading the way M mikhail bridges the, i think he's the only player on here that averaged less than 10 but that's fine i guess where the hell we go first round dallas is down 2-1 to minnesota who they uh who has whatever the hell i gave for anthony edwards from phoenix and cameron johnson or something and the mavericks got a eliminated first round Luca zion lamello michael porter and uh miles turner couldn't stand up to d'angelo malik beasley and towns and yeah cam johnson well we got two more shots and guess what they're both down three two what the hell okay they just both tied and the celtics won by four points in game seven ladipo three-point jump shot miss yeah that's tough my guy sorry oh yeah right we took uh i don't even remember what the hell i gave them for um yeah i really don't remember what the hell i gave them for bam on i don't i don't even know where the hell bam is i forgot Adam, Allen, Brown, Fox, and Mikhail, the big five. How about this Atlanta one? 
though. And this is Ben Simmons playing up against his former squadron, you know? They're about to lose the first seed to the to the eight seed. They're, no, they 100% they lost. Joel Embiid said, screw you, Ben Simmons. We don't care if you left. You're going to have to take this L. Two for 13 shooting from Lonzo Ball. I just wish you wouldn't have shot, to be honest with you. Just give all the shots to Trey Young, who had 40. Oh, my God. He actually shot 14 for 32, though. I mean, that's not awful, but like eight for 20 from, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of how the offense was designed, though. Embiid, 36 and 19 on uh, on Bam's head, too. This team was built for this and everything, but now we just got Boston, who we were built to play really good defense, and you guys, well, I guess you, yeah, whatever, who knows? Why am I simulating the first game? Sorry, I didn't even mean to do this. Well, Tatum had a triple-double, so that's a good thing. Okay, simulate round. Can they, oh my god, they just lost the next four games. Yeah, uh, I don't think not, since fatigue is off, I feel like playing players the entire game would just be a good thing, you know what I mean? So I don't think that should be a negative factor against this team, these teams against the other teams, but nonetheless, Brooklyn won the championship. Well, uh, I got nothing. I'm not going to drag this on. Let's just uh, go into the next season. Udonis Haslam retired finally. Oh boy, Sfi accepted his qualifying offer. Okay. Adam, Brown, Fox, and Allen all got better. Mikhail, actually, yeah, you're already almost 25. So, well, I mean, now you are. Hawks, Simmons, Trey, Shea, Bam, and I mean, yeah, they're all going to make their, you know, I mean, the 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 um progression boost we would expect. Luke went up by five, though. Oh my God. So did Edwards, to be fair. And so did Hero. All right, season number two. De'Aaron, Ja, Lamelo, all one time all stars this year. Some familiar names, you know. Well, Hawks are fifth in the conference. Mavericks are one. Ooh, Suns is six. Thunder ninth. So almost every team is in the playoffs. Uh, the Thunder, you guys are kind of selling me out right now. Then again, you were the trash team, right? Look at the Mavericks going stupid though. 44 and 12. Let's do it. I always have like one point in the videos or whatever the recordings where I like get really scared that I forgot to start or I like I muted my mic or something. But uh, thankfully, no, I didn't do that. So it went from Trey to Luca, right? Last year's MVP was Trey. Yeah, Luca. Luca is the MVP this year though. 34 and 15 a game. Almost 10 assists as well. But Zion probably stole all those. Hi, Cade Cunningham. Hello, Precious. Isaac DPOY, Kendrick Nunn, most improved, and Steve Nash, coach of the year. We still got to watch out for Brooklyn. They're still the best team in this league thing. Luka, Trey, Tatum, Zion, almost all of our guys are all NBA first team, but then Embiid, who's 28 now, actually. What is he in real life? 26, 27, I guess that would mean. Probably 27. Embiid's been around for a minute. De'Aaron, Lamelo, Ben, Sabonis, and Jokic. Second team, third team, Harden, Curry, AD, Giannis, and Bam. And uh, hey, look, it's Lonzo again. Let me see the stats for our teams real quick. Oh, wow. Uh, Zion actually averaged more points than Luca. Here's the Sun stats. Edwards averaged more points than Booker. Thunder, Ingram, and Mitchell getting buckets. Jamal Murray likes to get buckets too. And uh, so does basically. That's literally this entire team. Mikael Bridges averaged even less than last year. But they had Jalen, De'Aaron, and Jason all 30 plus points per game. That is nuts. This is one hell of a weird team, to be honest with you. They just got these three guys giving, but I mean, hey, I, I yeah. Kind of how it is in real life too, though. And then uh, Elonzo, 17 a game on 41% shoot. I mean, that's not awful, but like just pass it to somebody else at that point. Need some more bend points. Need bend to just get more aggressive. But then again, we all want to see the same thing in real life too. Whatever he is, what he is. Uh, Tatum lit, led in points, followed by Trey, Zion, Luca, and De'Aaron. Rebounds is Allen and Bead Capella, who I sent to the Jazz for Donovan Mitchell. I literally had nobody else by that point. And then a uh, DeAndre and Collins. Collins the only person on this team who could even grab a rebound. And then Doncic, Morant, Trey, Fox, and Lillard for assists. Zion field goals. Deem Lillard three point. Okay, but did we have every team make the playoffs? No, definitely not. You know why I say that? because I already see the Thunder finished number nine. They were tied with the Suns for the eight seed. That means they lost the season series. So yeah, we guess, I guess we know which, wow, I can't speak. We know which team was slightly better. Celtics 56 and 26, Hawks 50 and 32, Mavericks 64 wins like I anticipated. And we got two of our teams playing in the first round, the Dallas and Phoenix uh, series. The hell's those matchups? But uh, well, this should still be interesting. We're, I mean, they're out, hell, they're still pretty close. Luka's a 99 uh, and Dallas won 4-0. Sorry, Phoenix. Hey, guess what? Boston also won 4-0 and Atlanta won 4-1 and Trey put up 57 43 points per game he had 56 in another game yeah now this man was going stupid so he was giving the buckets oh they're again they're against um six was again too but he was giving the bucks to D Rose sorry Derek and uh Tatum was giving buckets out over here as well him and Brown Brown had 53 in one of the games and uh Fox is Fox they went to OT and everything okay so second round ETL is to face up against the Brooklyn big three I have no clue who the hell's on Indiana right now considering that it's been a minute oh they got Levine and Cunningham and Kawhi. What? I'm not even surprised to be honest with you. I feel like Kawhi would just end up going somewhere like Indiana. And then Grizzlies. Actually, the Grizzlies have Chris Paul, if I'm not mistaken, because I, I traded him there for Ja. But it looks like that doesn't matter. It looks like they lost 4 0. Boss, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, the Memphis lost 4 0, but Boston lost 2 to 4. And Atlanta lost 2 to 4 as well to Brooklyn. Oh boy. Up Dallas, you're a you're lone survivor. Team with the three incredible scores and two guys to just vibe out and just chill out and play defense. Uh, yeah, they kind of got eliminated in six games to Kawhi.
Kawhi in them. And then Shea Simmons, bam. Trey Young, seven points on one for 19 shooting. This man, oh, you had Kyrie put the clamps on you like that? Oh my God, Gobert's on the Nets now too? Gobert would end up on the Nets. I feel like Gobert's gonna be one of those guys that ends up on like the, yeah, nah, he might be become washed pretty quick though. Cause he's just, you know, I mean, a tall center. I don't know. Um, Okay, so the Jazz are just Mike Conley and Clint Capello. That is really weird. And they have Draymond too. Yeah, they even, they lost Chris. Oh wait, oh, the Jazz. Why do I think it was the Grizzlies? Oh, that was the last round. Okay. Yeah, right. So uh, actually the Clint Capella trade was good for them because they lost Gobert anyway. So now they got Capella, Mike Conley, and Clarkson, and Gallinari, and Joe Harris. So yeah, okay, sure. We're definitely not losing this team, right? Nope, 4-0. Let's do it. We're playing Brooklyn in the finals. Dallas Mavericks versus the Brooklyn Nets. My first team that I had drafted is the team that makes it the finals first. What is the result? Well, let's see. Otto Porter. Ironically, Porter versus Porter. Uh, Michael Porter, Otto Porter. Okay, let's, let's do this. First game is going to Dallas. They are not coming back from this one, right? Yep, 141-128. Michael Porter Jr., 39 on Otto's head. Kyrie, 34. But yeah, uh, give him the buckets. Come on, team. If we win in year two, that's a big W because, yeah, it's just, I mean, come on now. Plus against this Brooklyn team with Rudy Gobert and still the big three intact, right? They still have Harden, Durant, Kyrie, just making sure. Now LaMelo Ball put up 49 in the second game. He's averaging 33 and 10 a game in the uh, playoff. Luka, 33 and 15. Michael Porter Jr., 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. They're good. Game three. Okay, Brooklyn, you got it. You got it. Take a game. Take a game. 46 from Zion, 39 from Luka, but uh, 47 from Kyrie and 38 from Harden. And then you got Kevin, too. Somehow had a thing where we can create an incredible five-man lineup for some of the best players in the league, and yet the Nets are still better because they have three like guys who can win MVP. But uh, maybe not better, better, though, because uh, yep, Luka's 41 and 13 leads us to a 3-1 lead. Turner with 23. Michael Porter Jr. with 22. 3-1. Come on, Brooklyn. Just uh, sit down. You know what I mean? 156 to 88. They definitely did not sit down. 48, 37, and 25 from their big three. Well, our uh, supporting cast lacked incredibly. 3 for 22 shooting from LaMelo. 1 for 10 from Porter Jr. We just need one more. Oh, yeah. This is going to be it. This is going to be it. Yo, Dallas. Your guy, uh, Luka Doncic, 48 and 14. Yeah, he led you to this ring. He held it down at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, hard to hit him with it. Oh, oh, oh. Between the legs. Hit him with mad between the legs. Step back. What? Hold on. This way. On Harden. I mean, yeah, on Harden. Oh, man. did I make Harden lean? What? Is that like because of a screen or something? Why did Harden, did Harden just fall back? What the hell? Did James just trip on Gobert or something? Why he just all of a sudden, when he's already has this much separation between him and Luka, just falls back like this? What? What? I love it. I love this game. The Dallas Mavericks are NBA champions. Michael Porter Jr.'s team. Kind of. Not really his team, but either way. He's a pivotal part. You know, he's one of five guys who plays minutes. Oh, man. Look at the squadron. Do they have someone in here that doesn't belong? Oh, yeah. Josh Richardson was in there. Instead of Luka with his 48. But uh, yeah, nonetheless. And I messed up his field percentage. Just giving him one more L. One more missed shot. Nonetheless, hey, uh, that's a ring. I want to see two of the teams meet up in the finals. Matter of fact, there's actually... Oh, yeah. There's three teams in the West, actually. They probably have a lesser, lesser chance of beating the Mavericks. Hey, uh, those other two teams, though, Boston and Atlanta, they've been very solid. It's even evenly, uh, you know what I mean? Evenly matched in terms of the conferences. Los Angeles Clippers, Carmelo Anthony retired. Uh, sure, whatever. Uh, it's kind of musty. I'm not going to lie. I was just watching Melo highlight reels. Or I do that like pretty often, to be honest with you. AD went to the Knicks, Curry to the Warriors, Harden to the Heat, Kyrie still with the Nets. Butler, you definitely would go to the trip. That just sounds, sounds like a cool fit for you. Randall to the Nuggets. He'd be really cool next to Jokic. I can't even lie. They, they'd actually fit very. He actually plays kind of like Jokic. Sounds really weird to say because he was so awful at passing last year, but now all of a sudden he's just really good at it. And he had like 15 assists in the last game as I'm recording this. Season number three, I'll probably go for five or uh, well, yeah, probably five. That's how you know I'm on top of things. So I'm over here checking to see if any of the teams fired their coach, but uh, nope. Because you know, that would kind of break the five-man rotation. There was another one, DeAndre Aiden, one-time All-Star. I think I left him on Phoenix, right? At this point, how many of our guys are in the MVP race? Let me see. Oh, yep, it's all of them. Three Celtics and two Mavericks. Hey, hey it's young Luca, back to back MVP, Victor Wenbanyama, Miles Bridges, six man of the year. Cool. And DPOI yet again, Rick Carlisle coach here. So the Mavericks are the best team in the league. Luca, Trey, Ben Tatum, and Embiid all NBA first name. Then Ja, De'Aaron, Zion, Giannis. It was weird that Giannis is finally over 25 years old. And bam, Curry, Kyrie, LeBron, Sabonis, and DeAndre Aiden. Dallas and Phoenix made the playoffs. And Atlanta is somehow the eighth seed now. That doesn't even make sense. And guess what? OKC yet again. And ninth seed. League leaders in points, Tatum, Young, Irving, Doncic, and Brown. Rebounds, Allen had 20, 8 and 18, or 19. Rounded up, uh, Capella, 19. Wow, how, what the hell? Collins and Drummond, who's on the heat now. Assists, Morant, Doncic, Fox, Young, and Curry. Player stats for the Thunder, the Celtics. Mikhail, yet again, 9 points, and they have 
three guys over 30 points per game again here's the hawks again and the mavericks and the suns yet again edwards and morant now the leading scorers on this team oh here we go we got two teams match up against each other right here we already know what boston and atlanta are made of i guess if you remember if you remember what the hell they're made of and whoa 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 okay phoenix you didn't surprise me by losing to Jokic and randall but um you know you, you got a cool team of course but no but this series went to seven games an eight point win by the celtics the first seeded celtics be exact they almost lost though to the hawks paid him 51 to get the w and uh I, it looks like both teams played just fine and of course dallas beat down on new orleans who has porzingis instead of well zion and they also drafted amani bates all right let's simulate another round real quick and uh oh my god boston just blew a 3-0 lead right was that a 3-0 i believe i mean hey you're watching the video too and of course it's to the pacers who they also lost to right in the other year i think but dallas is hoping still alive and well at repeating and they're playing memphis who don't have chris paul anymore but they have jaron jackson and terry rozier sure i would assume they don't have chris paul if he's not starting over raul Neto. and uh yep the, we're playing the raptors in the finals who the hell is on the raptors chris middleton's actually kind of a cool fit for the raptors but then they have og montrez harrell fred van vliet and mac mcclung this is a really weird team well 99 overall luca lose to fred van vliet let's see what the hell how did we just lose by four you know how confident i was that i clicked simulate through game and we just lost another one as i did the same exact thing oh my god mac mcclung just gave this man 41 in 31 minutes he didn't even have to play 48 like our guys there's no way we just we, we about to lose to mac mcclung 29 from zion a triple double from luca okay cool we won this one all right i'm simulating through another come on oh my god we lost another one six points mac mcclung chris middleton and fred van vliet giving us these buckets 35 and 16 from zion 30 look who even cares we're not gonna lock them up I mean, in fairness this isn't some sort of defensive oriented team aside from well uh miles turner that's really it actually and we okay cool one another game 165 to 126 what the hell 40 plus from zion and luca that is yeah you probably can't stop that too easily yep another w to force game 7 36 10 and 10 from luca 136 135 one minute left game seven of the finals mavericks are you repeating well you're down by one what is your answer into luca luca he's guarded by is that gary trent is that like a really old gary trent face scan i feel like he doesn't look like that oh, okay i mean that's basically like the the premise of 2k is just having really old face scans but uh luca takes the lead with the layup screen set by montrez mac mcclung going to the basket around turner he misses it lamello you're tall as hell good thing he stopped that now up to zion zion all the way to the basket layup by zion is good through the defender it's basically his entire career which is only two years but it's still a very good career to be f i love zion he's probably like my favorite player him and Kyrie are probably my favorite players to watch and like three four five sixteen other people that i'm forgetting uh down to looney looney back out to trent jr for three it is off miles turner board he gives it to porter jr lamello gonna be taking the free throws does he have the curry free throw animation uh nope he has a lamello ish free throw animation and uh, it's good lamello the second one he's getting mvp chance probably everybody on the team could get mvp chance with their number 14 for 22 31 points from zion s into mac mac back over to trent trent now s it over to middleton for three it is green okay i love the chris middleton jump shot in 2k to be fair i'm not even mad at it um okay into lamello he missed the first free throw 57 percent oh boy lamello the second free throw is green though didn't he green the other two before i mean hey i guess it's, it's solid solid ratio you know three to one and no not the weird twitter ratio just like an actual you know human ratio um okay mac mac mcclung from deep it is all zion end it big dog zion hits the first free throw he hits the second free throw that is it dallas mavericks will repeat they came back from down three one right mac pulls up from deep it is over regardless let's do it dallas um i guess this definitely you know give some give some give some props to my team building skills the number one team i built with luca and zion and just a cool little supporting cast which also includes the mellow to be fair uh yeah they definitely have indeed won two championships out of the three years i actually like it with the announcer just said i already know i'm not going to include in the video but he said he said you know i i the um he said when players bond together they're greater than the sum is greater than its parts it's a very motivational quote it's like a simile to like teamwork makes a dream work you know do you really need a team i don't know i think i've done like everything for this youtube channel it's still at 400 000. not really everything though shout out to you you're still watching the videos that's that helps that's is that the team oh my god luca 39 and 12 order 38 and 12 33 17 11 from zion 36 and 11 from lamello and uh four and ten from miles turner nice look at michael porter coming up clutch i guess technically we're like a four hundred thousand person team production value uh no that's me that's a one-man team but like the the fact that you know i mean all the people watch the video so i'm not miserable go going so i'm not miserable going to a community college and said i could play 2k for a living uh yeah 35 and 15 from luka Doncic. and
and that's almost what he averaged for the playoffs too so that's good dwight howard retired that's gonna be a weird day i feel like he's just been around forever obviously because he's been drafted since 2005 or 2004 actually yeah i've only done two, so many 2003 resims to know after the kwame brown simulation the bona fide scrub up uh, goodbye pj tucker season number four or three or yeah this is four. Oh my god the thunder drafted brandon miller with their pick because of course the thunder have every pick ever so they somehow ended up with the number one pick and drafted 87 overall brandon miller um yeah i'm not gonna lie just gonna just gonna release you goodbye would you be great there in okc yeah a little bit but um you're actually a perfect fit because hero's not really a small forward atlanta got a new coach let me fix their system but yeah kind of got to keep the original point of the challenge together uh season number four any new one-time all-stars oh yeah monty bates have you ever heard of him hi luca you're a three-time mvp so that probably means you're pretty good at the basketball thing zeke nanaji like i've always seen your name but never actually seen what you look like how, how are you rick carlisle 58 wins is good enough for the best in the conference or whatever uh yep all nba first team with some players who play basketball same goes for the second team and same goes for the third team mavericks first seed Suns were one game out of the playoffs thunder were nine games out of the playoffs i don't think brandon miller would have changed that to be honest with you 54 and 28 for the celtics is second seed hawks are the fifth seed almost 11 wins worse than the or well yeah full 11 wins worse than the celtics too though league leaders in points is tatum trey zion fox and luca rebounds is allen with 21 then aiden with 20 bam with 15 collins and capella assists ja Doncic, Lamelo, trey and curry zion likes to make shots and halliburton three more i love halliburton's game just because of the fact that his shot is disgusting and he still shoots 50 percent from three like what you gonna do not what you, like come on now i don't even have no way to finish that sentence like his shot is just musty set shot but it still just works even in the nba too it's a beautiful thing to see him hit somebody with a mean crossover one of those games but uh, okay first round and atlanta got eliminated okay well they were the they were the something seed they were the fifth seed lost to detroit who the hell was on detroit they just have isaiah stewart and killian hayes out here bowling for him okay i, I respect it and they got capella too but we don't even talk about it um okay second round uh who the hell is on charlotte now to make them good can we check that out what the hell moses moody 79 overall jalen brunson that's their replacement for uh for lamella with jalen brunson they're still a third seed but we are or the celtics beat them i mean that's technically we i, I created the team this is the second team i created to be fair now celtics versus pacers oh yeah once again zach Kawhi, and Cade. that's frightening who the hell's on the warriors these days curry clay eric poshko wiseman and wiggins this is the same starting five except with minus uh draymond draymond and james wiseman is very good now and wow it happened year number four the two teams meet up in the finals so everything that i could have wanted to happen in this happened like we we accomplished a team winning a championship and now we have the two teams meeting up against each other in the final Tatum's a 96 versus porter juniors 90 jalen 92 versus 99 luca you got De'Aaron versus lamello zion versus mikhail that's actually kind of interesting the power forward matchup and then uh jared allen versus miles turner here the hell we go just, just 10 guys all playing 48 minutes like a 1970s finals matchup No, walt freeze used to average at least like you know i mean 70 minutes a game and the celtics are going to win game one by 11 points as tatum drops 46 you already know everybody's stats and he's going to be crazy right i don't need to go too in depth but the mavericks said ao we're the mavericks we won two straight rings luca 46 10 and 12 yep 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 and then there there they go again seven point win zion 48 10 and 5 but tatum at 59 and lost before we go any further can i see what the record is right now for uh points in the playoffs 76 from luca jalen had 65 and actually curry even beat him that's this year yeah he's still out here going crazy at like what 36 37 years old mavericks you about to take a 3-1 lead yeah three guys on this team at 34 points and then uh tatum 38 but mavericks are about to potentially win their third straight ring regardless i had a feeling that luca and zion would be a pretty solid pairing you know and uh yep it's happening i'm not even going to jump in honestly i'm just going to get to moving on because yep this is gonna be the third time we've seen the mavericks celebrate Tatum's 44 he tried his best to will his team but uh nonetheless seven for 25 from fox is definitely not that great i guess lamello put the clamps on him and dropped 38 on his dome too yep dallas 124 106 win in game five of the finals luca donch is 35 and 13 a game to win their third straight championship Tatum 39 per game in the playoffs though here's the final stats this man tatum averaged 44 a game in the finals if it ever loads come on okay there we go yeah 44 game in the finals 55 percent shooting to a very elite play from him but uh yeah his team definitely kind of sold him out kale averaging six definitely never really helps his he barely shot so much that he didn't even have a field goal percentage that's that's available it's not available wow he shot 39 percent from the field this year that's very very bad put this man on the list over rj come on now i'm just playing i, I said i like mikhail already but whatever eddie's young retired all right so this is the final year we could see if they match up again or if dallas is going to win their fourth straight championship because that's just kind of nuts bruno fernando oh boy except the 
qualifying offer. Why did the Mavericks just decide to hire Tyron Lue and get a new coach? Did Rick Carlisle retire? That'd be the only logical explanation. Where the hell did the Suns players go? Where did, what? How did you lose Booker and uh, what's his name? And Sabonis. Ebook went to the Magic. Ew, the Magic Nation. He's back here now. I, I retrieved him. Bonus went to the Raptors. Why the hell did they? I thought I gave these guys five-year count. Who cares? Hey, look, all the teams in the playoff race. See that at the top right? I'm scrolling through them. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, Luca, just four straight MVP. Hi, Bronny. Tyron Lou, 63 wins. First team yet again, almost all of our, you know what I mean, guys on these five teams. And this one isn't, and this one isn't. Dallas, Phoenix, OKC, Atlanta, and Boston. The last thing that I have yet to accomplish was making all the teams make the playoffs. And guess what? They finally did it. Yo, just simulate, dog. Simulate the first round. Let's see who the hell makes it out. OKC lost 4 0 to the Spurs, and the Hawks lost seven games to the Pistons again. K Killian Hayes bugging out again, giving this team buckets. Second round, though, can they? Can the Killian Hayes team beat the uh, Pistons and also Phoenix Suns up against the Mavericks? Will the reigning champions finally lose to their, you know what I mean, one of the other young teams that I put together? Let's see. Oh, oh, whoa. That was really close, actually. Did it? Wow. Yeah. Six point win, 152, 146 in game seven. They almost blew a 3 0 lead, right? 50 from Edwards and 47 from LaMelo. One hell of a 2020 draft class battle. And uh, Boston won 4 0, so that's cool. But uh, Dallas versus Boston might happen again. I'm just interested to see who the hell is on the Cavs. Oh, it's basically the same exact team, but with Chet Holmgren, Evan Mobley, and Trey Jones. So basically, no, it's not the same exact team at all. And the Spurs, don't, if you, oh wait, hold on. They have, DeMar is still there playing starting power forward. That is nuts. They also signed Brandon Miller after I released him. And they have Jokic and quickly and DeJounte. That's actually very frightening. They might win. They might win. Oh, they didn't win. The Cavs beat them. What? How did the Cavs always, I swear Colin Sexton, I might like, whenever I rebuild the team next, I got to get Colin Sexton. There's something wrong wrong with this guy that makes him always just team his team just always end up so good and he doesn't even have to it's not even about the stats it's something about like his aura or something i don't even understand it okay sure you could say that maybe they haven't been good this entire simulation but whatever i don't know the way that the Cavs always end up really good um i don't think i need a sim cast through these oh my god no i don't because we just lost 160 to 136 what up oh, there goes colin 41 i only dropped 52 and i just glanced over it but we won't talk about it um obviously two to oh luca 45 evan Mobley 31 and Sexton 29. We're down. Th don't tell me we're going to lose in the last season of after winning four, three straight. What? Okay, cool. They won a game 117, 104. Hey, I'm just going to, you know, I mean, keep clicking this. And oh my God. Evan Mobley 19 and 10. You tell me the final season is when we lose. Oh man. Hey, yo. Colin 19 points to get us the hell up out of here. Zion 42. Did anybody break the record again? Yeah, no. Lucas 76 is untouchable. Definitely. Well, so by the way, he shot five for 19 in the final game. Who did anybody like was anybody like really awful and i didn't realize it uh no they were they were all pretty solid fun fact zion out here averaging that many points and didn't even shoot a three this entire simulation even has a 75 three-point shot too he just doesn't care barrel you into the basket well mar derozan retired the power forward himself i still find that weird that they list him at power forward it's just weird i mean at least make him shooting guard or small forward slash power forward like i don't know but uh yeah and isaiah thomas retired shout out to him he came back he's on the pelicans now he scored eight straight points i think today as I'm recording this. But uh, yeah, dog. That's a Blake Griffin get his number retired. Uh, league meetings, I, I don't care. Yo, that is officially going to do it. Thank you for watching. Shout out to basketball for existing as a sport where you put the ball in the basket and people enjoy it for entertainment and stuff. Is there anybody else who, no matter how much you enjoy the NBA or 2K or any other form of watching or playing basketball, always just enjoys playing basketball as in playing like basketball, like the real basketball more than anything? Let me know. What do you do most? Do you play basketball the most? Do you, um, do you watch basketball? basketball the most or do you play 2k the most what's your number one form of basketball entertainment i guess a fourth would be watching these videos that i make or any 2k youtuber as well that's my question for those who are still here that's how the hell i'll know you're still here see that's cool but uh yeah dog that is officially gonna do it thank you for watching you can like and subscribe to my channel thank you for keeping my channel at all by clicking the buttons that are underneath the video they're pretty easy you just click on them and then you whatever you get it. shout out to tony roten and uh i'm gonna get the hell up and out of here Bye.